Hi, welcome back. Good to see you again. Today we're going to go on a new section on electricity. We're going to talk about conventional current flow, electrons flow, and an introduction to Ohm's law. Okay, so this is going to be quite simple. So I have a circuit over here, all right? And can you remember what does this symbol represent? Yes, it's a dry cell or a battery, all right? Or we learned that it also provides electromotive force to drive the charge around. And what is this X-Men symbol? What does it represent? Yes, a light bulb. Okay. So you notice that in my drawings, I drew the direction of the current flow. All right. So this is long side is plus and minus. When the current flow flow from plus to minus, we call this flow conventional current flow. All right. So what is conventional current flow? Is when the current is flowing from positive to negative. All right. Okay. So this is originally the assumed direction. And then later on through the availability of better research and equipment, you know what they realize? They realize that the electrons, okay, current is a flow of electrons, right? They realize that the electrons actually flow from negative to positive. Oh my gosh, it is the entire opposite. But actually it doesn't matter. The light bulb will still light up, okay? So, but to counter this whole thing, all right, this negative to positive, which is what happens actually, they just call another term. They call this electrons flow. All right. So what is electrons flow? It's what is actually happening that electrons are actually flowing from negative to positive polarity. Okay. All right. But in all our drawing from now on, we always use conventional current flow, okay? But in actual life, it's actually moving from minus to plus, okay? So what is conventional current flow? Plus to minus, electrons minus to plus. Easy peasy, okay? Next, let's look at this other circuit diagram, okay? What's the difference between this and this? If the light bulb is the same. Yes, you notice that there are two dry cells over here. Two dry cells put together. What does it provide? A higher EMF a high electromotive force that will drive. So in a certain sense, our V has gone up, okay? And then my question to you is, what do you think will happen to the current when we have an increased EMF, when we have more work driving the charge across the circuit, okay? So just think about it. On the day you wake up, you don't eat breakfast, okay? Very hungry, and you go jogging, versus a day where you had good, solid breakfast, right food, bacon, eggs, some protein, some carbs, where you feel more energetic. Which morning would you feel that you can run faster? The one that you ate more or the one that you didn't eat at all? Yeah, you're right, okay? When you feed your body better, your body is able to perform. So when V increases, what will happen to the rate of flow of charge? Will current flow faster, will charge flow faster, Will current be higher or lower? Yes, it will be higher. So when V increases, I will increase. Conversely, when V decreases, when you have a lower electromotive force or lower potential difference, current will decrease. Okay, this relationship we learn in mathematics is called proportional. So V is proportional to I. This concept over here, all right, is our foundation for Ohm's law, okay, which we will start in the next video. Okay, all right, so what do you learn today? You learn conventional current flow, which is flowing from plus to minus, but actually what is happening is electrons flow, minus to plus, and you learn Ohm's law. What is the basis of Ohm's law? Potential difference or EMF is proportional to current, which is the rate of flow of charge. See you in the next video.